Hello everyone! This is Sorry and Target welcoming you to a very exciting video here on the channel where today for the first time we are getting to play a brand new carnivores mod led by Tormer, the, the wonderful project leader behind Jurassic Park Hunter Legends and Jurassic Park Revolution and his newest mod is Siberian Expeditions. A mod that takes place in modern day Russia where you get to hunt a whole host of wonderfully exotic creatures. Th this mod literally dropped yesterday at the very end of the year, December 31st. And it's a mod that I have been so incredibly excited to play for such a long time. Now, it's not a mod that I've talked about a whole lot. I've not showcased a lot about it building up to this. So this might seem like it's just come out of nowhere for some of you guys. It it's been a weird year and I apologize for that. But this, I have been so incredibly excited to play this mod for so long. It's been talked about as kind of like a a, a Carnivore's Modern Days uh, remake, a Modern Days uh, HD or Reborn, you know, for lack of a better comparison term there. But really, I think that kind of does a disservice to this mod. This mod is, uh, it, it really, the way I, I, that Tormers explained it to me, almost kind of harkens back to like those old Cabela's games, you know, back when Cabela's games were good. And, and that's what this mod is kind of aiming for, and that's what I'm just so excited about. I've not played this mod yet. Um, I, I've only loaded it up, as you can see here, to just get my um, profile and set my uh, settings in the options. Um, haven't done a thing in it, and I am so excited to get into this. But before we start, gorgeous menu, um, wonderfully tranquil menu music, but the menu layout's actually in the middle of the screen. I don't want to miss that there. Uh, usually the menu layout stuff is over here on the left hand side, but somehow uh, Whoever was programming this got it in the middle, which is really really cool. I uh, Didn't even know that was possible. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump in here as you can see we've already got 7,000 points having just started and We are greeted to a gorgeous Gorgeous looking hunt menu screen. Oh, I'm so excited to get into this mod. Uh, let's see, a whole lot of locations, a whole lot of animals. Oh, this is so exciting. And not a lot of weapons. Only four weapons. And an AUG. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> that's kind of awesome. Or uh, <clears throat> awesome, if you will. Or <laughs> maybe you won't. That's not an original joke. But oh, this is so, so cool. I love this. So, okay. Um, I gotta focus. I, I just hit the microphone. I apologize. Not a whole lot of weapons, uh, but I do believe that uh, the legend himself, Mertbert, was in charge of creating these weapons. So naturally, I am extremely excited to get to test uh, them out. Uh, I know that even though there's not a whole lot, uh, the gunplay in this is going to be fantastic. So I am super excited. So let's see here. Um, the scoring system is a little bit different. Uh, oh, these pictures are gorgeous. Okay, focus, focus. <laughs> uh, scoring's a bit different. We start with 7,000 points, and everything's a bit pricey, as uh, you can see here. What's interesting, I've already noticed, is that the um, the elk, uh, Altai Wapiti, I'm going to butcher a lot of these names, I'm sure, is uh, significantly more than the rest of the, um, well, I guess, early tier creatures. Oh, but that freed up the, a couple of locations and the shotgun. Oh, I wonder. Oh, oh, that kind of makes sense, actually. So, so basically, uh, if you're hunting elk, you're kind of forced into using the crossbow, which is, you know, a traditionally uh, a weapon you would use uh, for an animal like an elk. But if you get rid of the elk license and you go after something like a wild boar, a wolf, or a lynx, uh, well, we can't take the crossbow, but that also frees us up to use the uh, shotgun, which is a more appropriate firearm, I believe, for going after these. Uh, smaller animals here. Okay, so that's interesting. We've already got options, got choices, got different gameplay styles. Let's see, what are, what are we working with here? Let's start with the locations. Uh, Yakusha Forest. Uh, okay, pretty uh, standard forest looks like. Lake uh, Bi Baika? Is it? Hold on. Baikal. Baika. Is there a connection there or am I missing something? I, I, I don't know um, much about Siberia, if I'm being honest, so I feel like I'm going to butcher a lot of this, but, uh, uh, we'll, we'll just truck on through Lake Baika, uh, Tamir Island. Okay, looks like we're getting some snow, takes place a little farther up to the north, uh, off, off the coast, looks like. Uh, Putarana Plateau, okay, another, um, excellent high forest in the north. 
Cyan uh, Cy Cy Tiger. <laughs> Why does that remind me of those dumb names people call me on Discord? <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, okay. Um, Kamchatka Peninsula. Very cool. Looks like a very scenic location. The uh, Ural Mountains. Ooh, that's exciting. Um, great mountains on the border between Europe and Asia. Oh, interesting. Interesting. And the Altai Massif. That's very... Wait. What is that? What is that picture there on the right? Is that Bigfoot? No. Like, I don't know how close this is to the Himalayas, maybe it says. Uh, base of the Altai Mountains, Taiga Forest, fair share of horror stories. Missing travelers stay clear of any caves as they hide unseen horrors. Okay, this just got really exciting. Oh, I'm, I'm into this. I wonder. It's not, right? It, it wouldn't be a, a Yeti. There's no way. There's no way the bonus animal's a Yeti. No, 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 no. There, there's, there's no chance of that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Locations looking excellent. We've got um, Altai Wapiti, which is an elk. Uh, wild boar. Now, now, this is how you use a wild boar. And a wolf. Take notes, carnivores, I say. I know it's too late, but, you know, rather late than never. <laughs> wild boar, Eurasian wolf. Very exciting. East Siberian elk. It's a moose. No, or moose in North America, of course. <laughs> Uh, Eurasian lynx, okay, very cool. Uh, oh, a Siberian ibex. I'm very excited to hunt a Siberian ibex. That is going to be a snow leopard. Oh, I love snow leopards. Oh, that's going to be so hard. Oh no. Okay. Well, uh, snow sheep, very cool. And Usuri brown bear. Oh, and of course the bonus animal. I am just beyond stoked. I, I could sit here on the hunt menu and talk forever. I'm sure most people have clicked off the video already. So let's get into this. Um, we're going to go after an elk. Uh, taking the crossbow with us. Let's see. Powerful, deadly, but hard to use and slow. Uh, the crossbow shoots a bolt at 140 meters a second. It's powerful, but at what cost? When aiming, you will have to compensate for drop. Using the built-in sights, starting from 0 to 100, each red pin representing 100 meters. Okay, that's good to know, actually. Um, I'm actually going to go back and set that to metric so I can actually use that without having to do calculations in my head. Uh, camouflage, eh, I know it's the first time, but um, I'm going to see how I do without radar. Cover scent, uh, double ammo, very cool. Supply, supply ship, personalized. A-50? What? We get the whole, <laughs> we get a big aircraft to come bring us ammo? Man, Russia spares no expense. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, very cool, very cool stuff. I think this is going to be our uh, loadout for our first time in. Tranquilizer darts are... Mm, I do want to check out the trophy room, so we're going to take tranquilizer darts off. We'll go check out the trophy room and see uh, what that looks like. Okay, Siberian Expeditions. First time in. I'm very excited. I hope you guys are too, so let's jump in and head to Mother Russia. That was awful. Nope. Oh. My gosh. You are kidding me. We're, uh, we, we're, ooh, we got our own hunting cabin. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is so cool. What records we got? Oh my goodness, this is like above and beyond. <gasps> What's in the fridge? Let's see what we got here. We got some, uh, looks like some Pop-Tarts. Uh, let's see, let's see, maybe some waffles? I don't know, I can't really tell. Got some milk, got some eggs, got some good fruits. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Ooh. A magnificent hunter and his hound. Oh, and we got a nice bookshelf, we got a couch? Well, this is fun. Can we get on the couch? Not exactly. We've got a, what looks like a moose. Prized moose head already hanging up here in our hunting cabin. And the outside world. This is so cool. Oh, wow. Look at this. Well, I guess somebody blew the door off our cabin. 
Holy smokes, this is awesome. Okay, okay. We're in this hunt. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, that looks really nice. Wow. Okay, so it looks like we are on a... Um, the coast. A coastal area. Right in the middle of the woods, we've got what looks like desert-ish. Place to the south. Uh, across the river there to the east. And looks like a ring of mountains that if we can get on the inside, might yield more forest. Okay, this is... Oh, ooh, and look at the UI! Look at the UI! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the compass is gorgeous. The wind indicator... It's a little confusing, to be completely honest with you. Um, I'm going to assume that the red is the direction the wind is blowing. Kind of indicating that, like, hey, you know, alert. The wind's blowing that way, so don't go that way. So it looks like if we go to the west... Uh, which is not good because we're pretty much as far west as we can go. Uh, the wind's better. Ooh. Oh! I hear that elk. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, let's see. Uh, binoculars. Oh, that looks so nice! Oh, I am so excited. To Ooh! A musk deer. Ah! Ah, this is a Carnivore's Ice Age mod. Okay, so we're going to be pretty limited on... I hear you. I hear you. Pretty limited on ambient creatures. I wonder if it does what um, Jurassic Park Revolution did and uh, swapped out the uh, aerial ambient creature for a second terrestrial one. What's up, musk deer? I honestly thought you were a rabbit <laughs> just based on how you look. Oh, look at those fangs. You are terrifying. But strangely adorable. That's cool. Okay. So let's see if we can uh, go ahead and glass this area real quick. Go oh, hello. Oh, Eurasian Eagle Owl. Okay, so we do have an aerial ambient creature. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, how cool is this? Wow. Oh, I am just kind of taken aback, honestly. I, I am in awe. Let's see, where'd our, where the heck did our hunting cabin go? Oh, there it is. Very well camouflaged. Okay. So let's head, um, it's blowing like directly to the west. Mm. Let's go, let's go to the northwest. Just see what, excuse me, see what we can find. I do want to go ahead and apologize in advance for the frames. Hello. Ooh, we'll make our way this this way. See what that is. I do want to apologize in advance for the frames. Um, Tormer's maps are always just so beautifully packed full of detail that uh, my PC sometimes has a hard time running them. Uh, especially when I've got um, audio and video recording software running in the background. But hopefully it's not just unbearable for you guys. Let's see, what are we looking at here? Uh, I hope you'll notice the frames get a lot better looking th through the binoculars. <laughs> it looks like um, a hunting stand. Like for archery specifically. Oh, and we can just climb on up. Ooh, ooh frames got a lot better looking down here. Oh, well, this is cool. Okay. I'm not seeing anything out here. I did hear an elk earlier. I'm not sure if that was... Oh! And I also see an elk. Well, it's been picked up on the binoculars at least. I can't really see it. But the wind's not bad, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can lure him in. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice call icon. Alright, let's start the calls. There are few things more majestic in this world than a male elk bugle. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know how many elk we have out here. I've also um, lost visual on the one we had. 
Come on, big guy. Where are you? He's about 350 meters out. There he is. I wonder if it's best to stick up here on the stand and bring him to us or go to him. That's, oh, I guess I should pull up the crossbow. Ooh, that looks so cool. Very interesting. Oh, man, these sights are going to be tough to master. All right. He's, oh, there he is. He's getting close. He's getting close. Okay, about 270 meters out. All right, so if we start here at 100... Ooh, this is going to be tough. It's all so pixely back there. Okay, he's getting close. If we could get him to stop... I didn't even actually... I didn't check. I don't know anything about mortal zones. Oh, this could be interesting! He's at 200 meters. I don't know how much closer he's going to be able to get. I think we're just going to have to... Go for it. Ooh, this is tough. Alright, pal, come on. No way! First shot! <laughs> oh, that was so cool! Oh, that's awesome. Oh, and I'm an idiot. Okay, so... <laughs> for uh, recording purposes, I actually um, tabbed out of the hunt menu to um, stop my initial recording. And um, I jumped back in. I guess I had put tranquilizers back on, so... Unfortunately, we're not going to get to carry this guy back to the trophy room with us, but... Oh! What a majestic creature! Models look fantastic. Didn't get to see much of the animations, unfortunately, but... Oh, this looks so good! This is so good! Okay, well, that's our first kill. Or, downed animal. Tranquilized animal, anyway. Bow is very rewarding. I don't know if I hit a mortal zone or if that's just, you know, like one and done as far as shots go, but that's great. Okay. I think we're gonna, um, I think we're gonna cut our losses or, you know, uh, quit while we're ahead anyway. We'll head on back and then we'll come back in and try and do an actual trophy hunt. I'll, uh, keep tranquilizers off this time. Okay guys, I'm back in the hunt menu real quick, and I just noticed that that elk kill, or um, downed elk, got us enough points to go after a wild boar. So I'm going to add a wild boar to our uh, hunting roster. Tranquilizer darts are off this time, so let's try that again. Okay, we're back here in our wonderful hunting lodge. Now, I didn't try. Can I... No, it's just, it's just the, oh, oh, I can, oh, I can, no way, there's even a bed up here, <gasps> and a cabinet, I wonder if it leads to Narnia, and honestly, we're pretty much in Narnia, <laughs> oh, this is so cool, now, how the frick do I get down, there we go, come on, oh, this is just like, above and beyond awesome, it, it's like, uh, this mod, Mods in general these days, but this one especially, it's its just amazing how it not only embraces the limitation of the Carnivore's engine, just to make stuff, pulling off stuff like this so awesome, but it, it not only, you know, embraces those, but it finds such creative ways to overcome them. I am just so beyond thrilled to see this thing. Finally, oh, there you are, there you are. Okay, I'd like for our first trophy to be an elk. Okay, so let's see if we can't sneak up this guy. The wind is excellent. Let's see if we can get a better look at the animations as well. I heard those wolves, that was very unsettling. Okay, he's about a hundred 180 meters out? Mm. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, so, let's see. Okay, I hit. I hit him. I did not manage to take him down, though. So we'll head up here and get on this blood trail. 
least I hope I hit him. Shouldn't have hurt a crossbow. Yeah, there we go. Okay, here's the hit. Yeah, he's well out of... Ooh, okay, we got a wild boar. Maybe a wild boar will be end up being our first trophy. I can't see it at all. About 340 meters that way. And the wind still isn't that bad, so... I don't want to lose this blood trail. I'm going to go after the elk. If the wild boar decides to come after us, which, you know, it might. <laughs> oh, I hear you. I hear you. We'll keep an eye on the uh, horizon here, just to make sure we're not going to stumble across this elk. This map is gorgeous. I cannot wait to see the rest of the maps, the rest of the animals, the rest of the weapons. I'm just, oh, I'm so excited. That is always terrifying. <laughs> it's just exciting to have a new carnivores mod, and, and one that's, you know, just nice and simple. Like, there's no, there's no dinosaurs, obviously. There's no uh, alien planets or dino hunt corporation. It's just... Like a regular hunting safari, you know? Oh, he's run all the way to the end of the map. There's another wild boar, which looks like it's caught our scent. Yeah, because the wind has definitely shifted. Alright, you just uh, head on out that way, pal. Okay, we're, we've gone as far west as we can, so it looks like he's started to head up to the north. Which is not good for us, considering the wind uh, is really bad. It looks like he's taken back off this way. Which is uh, still not good for the wind. But we'll see if we can't make it work. Here we go. It's going to be tough to track this blood trail. It's getting thinner and thinner and much more spaced out. Never leave a wounded animal. Okay, man, it's a real shame that this couldn't have been my uh, one shot, one kill. Uh, but anyway, yeah, like I was saying, it's just so nice to have a, a, a simple, you know, carnivore mod that, that branches away from what you'd expect. I mean, this is basically recreating like those old Cabela's games in the carnivore's engine. There we go. And it's just super exciting. Just like, like this is an example of what I was talking about with the modern day showcase. You know, just taking the engine, the, the concept of, you know, hunting and bringing it back. Because we haven't had a good hunting game in so, so long. Cabela's really fell off the wagon in my eyes as far as hunting game quality goes. Uh, I hear the Hunter uh, Call of the Wild is really good. I'm actually considering buying that, uh, the 2021 edition for my PS4. Uh, let, me, let me know down in the comments section um, if you guys play that game if you'd recommend it. And that's just what I love about carnivores in general, you know? It attracts people from so many different walks, so many different interests, you know? Some people are here for the dinosaurs, some are here for the hunting, some are here for uh, the lore, or the art, or the horror, or just, you know, whatever it is. It's just such a... It, it's got its toes in all the different pools and brings so many people together. It's just awesome. And so I think this is really going to appeal to people who are maybe not so much a big fan of Oh, yep, I had a feeling. Uh, dinosaurs, and just enjoy hunting. You know, haven't had a good hunting game to get back into in a while. One that's nice and simple and competent and doesn't feel like you could, you know, go play it at Chuck E. Cheese or something. But anyway, during my rambling, we, um... Uh, I say we, I lost the elk. Spooked him off again. Okay, we're heading pretty far north. I think he ran out to the northeast, so I'm actually going to kind of angle myself um, to the northwest, go as far as I can towards this mountain range, and then kind of head back uh, in to the southeast so we can have some better wind. Assuming this is a mountain that he's unable to scale, I don't actually know that for sure. I think if I get up here, I can... Um, broadcast a call and see if I hear it sounds like hooves oh hello 
There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, that's a that's a much smaller elk. It's a musk deer. Okay. Oh, and here's a hunting stand. Okay, someone is. I hope it's our. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's amazing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got absolutely shredded by that elk. Oh my gosh. That was incredible. I forgot. Ice Age Engine. Custom kill animations. Oh, this mod is so exciting. I just, I am, I love it. I love it. Because I, I was, I was such a big fan of the, um, the old Cabela's games. Um... I still hold to and will die on the hill that Cabela's Outdoor Adventures, um, both the 2005 version and its 2009, 10-ish remake, are um, the greatest hunting sims I have ever played. I, they are the golden standard by which I will compare all hunting games. Uh, again, haven't played uh, The Hunter Call of the Wild. I am planning on uh, getting that, though, so that opinion may change. I've heard nothing but good things about it. But, uh, yeah, back in the day, uh, Cabela's Outdoor Adventures, that was, that was and still is the game. Um, Deer Hunter has always just been a kind of a shallow experience. Um, very limited in selection, but Outdoor Adventures had like 40 species of animals. Uh, thousands, literal thousands of uh, weapon and gear options. Um, free roam, open world hunting, um, varied creature sizes you know you could hunt like a, a just a little uh, four point pronghorn buck and then some monster 32 point buck depending on uh, your your skill level what you'd accomplished it was just it's just perfect just a perfect hunting sim and Cabela's just aside again aside from its remake did not reach those heights again and so uh, Tormer said that this mod was very heavily influenced by those old Cabela's games, and so uh, I'm just incredibly excited to get to experience this. Um, I, I, I've been kind of on a, a hunting game. I've had a hunting game uh, itch that hasn't been scratched, and I'm hoping this will help scratch that for me. Okay, going as far west as we can. Once again, the wind is blowing east. That's really not good for us. I think we're going to head east, maybe towards that river, and then kind of just plot ourselves back towards the uh, northwest. Or maybe the southwest. We'll go to the southwest this time, see if we can hit that uh, more open area. It looks like a more open area. It honestly looks like a crop circle is down there. I don't know what that's about, but I am uh, very excited to find out. Assuming those wolves don't get us. I'm, I'm hoping those are just ambient cries and not actual wolves uh, spawned in ready to hunt. Musk deer. Musk deer. A lot of musk deer. No Altai Wapiti, though. Let's see. That looks like another hunting stand, perhaps? I would say so. Okay, I wonder just how many of these are out here. Okay. So this one... kind of angled us just back where we came. I don't want to broadcast a call uh, just because we are heading down in that direction. Or in this direction. I don't want anything that way getting uh, wind of us already. I think we're about to... Oh, hello. This looks cool. Are we? We are almost at the river. This, it's like a dam.
Oh, hi, hello, musk deer. Or is the river... Uh, oh, it's in the middle of the river. Okay, interesting, interesting. Wow, this is really cool. Not exactly sure what you're supposed to be, but... Still very cool. I'm so excited to explore the rest of these maps. It's just going to be such an adventure. Okay, let's start heading down to the southwest now that we've reached the river. And we'll do some calls on the way, see if we can't land ourselves an elk. Before the elk lands on us. <laughs> that was the most visceral, feral, gut-wrenching scream I've ever heard come from a hunter in a carnivore's mod. <laughs> when that elk impaled us, oh my gosh, that was something else. I'm also very excited to see the rest of the custom kill animations, because I know that's going to be just an absolute treat. Okay, we're, we've reached one of these uh, more open, dry spots. I think that's a bear. Oh, there's a wild boar down there, which we do actually have a license for. So let's see if we can't bring this guy in. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. Alright, that's a reply. We've gotten out close. Okay. Sorry, wild boar. Or, I guess you're welcome, wild boar. You get to live another day. We're after something a bit grander. Still nothing on the binoculars. That wild boar hasn't really moved. I honestly can't even see him. That might be him. I think that's him. It sounds like he's going to be coming from this direction. That sounds like a bear. I hope that's not a bear. Come on, Elk. Where are you? I heard you're out there. An East Side Beef? <gasps> A moose! Should we? Should we? Okay, Altai YPT, you've got one more chance. I hear you out there. There we go, there we go, okay. Well, I had you. There's the boar. Oh, elk. Okay, okay, okay. He's about 400 meters out. I'm not exactly sure where he is. I'm gonna try heading this way. Great, beautiful beast. Oh, okay. Down here we got 350 meters. I really cannot. That might be him. That might be the wild boar, though. I like this vantage point. I don't want to get too low. There's also a tree stand over there. The wind wouldn't be great if we were on it, however. Okay, there's a the wild boar. I saw the wild boar. There he is. He's way out there. Okay, I think we're just going to have to go to him. As much as I really want that moose... Okay, 
We'll sprint while we've got some cover here. I'd love to not get ambushed by that wild boar. Okay, here we go. 350 meters. Still, I cannot get him closer. It's also not a very big elk. A wild boar spooked. Okay, there he is. Back off in the trees. Come on, big guy. Come on. Wild boars calm down a little bit, looks like. Yes, yes. I know you're grand. I know you're majestic. Oh, there's two. Oh, this one's a little bit bigger. Do we have three? No. Okay. I'm going to go for this, this one right here, which is about 200 meters out. Oh, it's just like pixels. Can't wait to get a sniper rifle. Okay, he's about 200 meters. And he comes around that tree. I'm going to take the shot. Oh, he's already come out from around the tree. That's a hit. That's a miss, I'm sure. Okay, 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 okay. Couldn't lead that shot. Mm. Okay, he's gone that way. The wind's not bad. If I can keep it angled, blowing towards me, I think we can make this work. I might have rushed that first shot. Mm, that makes me mad. The bad news is I can't really follow his blood trail this way. But I'm trying to keep I'm trying to keep the wind good. And there's no way he's calmed down yet. But we made it back to our hunting lodge. Oh, so cool. Okay, let's see here. I'll try another call. And we did get a reply, and that would be him. Okay, excellent. Now there is a, a tree stand pretty close to here, isn't there? I don't know if it's in this direction or not. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, there he is, there he is, there he is. About 200 meters out. Back this way, back this way, come on. Okay, 250 meters. I'm gonna try it. I think he's behind a tree. No, he's not, he just blends in really well. If I could get him to 200, I'd feel a lot more confident. Come on, big guy. Come on. I want an elk. Okay, this has got to be it. Man, again! Did I hit him? That's what I want to know. Nope. You missed, you darn fool. Oh, I, I didn't know if that shot was rushed or not. OK, 
Okay, well the good news is if I didn't hit him, he should calm down much faster than if I had. I didn't hit him, did I? I did hit him. Ooh. Okay, well, we're tracking. The wind's good. Which means we should have no issues following his blood trail this time. Okay, this is exciting! Oh, I love this! I know hunting games aren't everyone's cup of tea, but... It's a tea I could sip all day long. You just get so lost and immersed in the world. And it's so cool to have just like, you know, a, a, like I mentioned, a, a regular modern hunting game. And we're back, we're back hunting elk! and wild boars and wolves in a much more fitting environment. Okay, we're coming up on the edge of the map again. If I can at least figure out which direction he went. We can start trying to head him off. Looks like he's headed this way. Maybe. Does he keep going this way? Or does he circle back? I don't see blood this way. I do see blood out there. Let's see. I've got nothing on the reply. It's really hard to see blood trails from the binoculars. <laughs> He's trying his best to get away from us, but it's just not going to happen. I heard that elk bugle and I thought, that there's no way. There's no way that's just ambience. Especially when, when I know that he's in the area. Okay, pal. 250 meters. Come on, let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. The binoculars are picking him up. But I do not know where they have a fix on him. Looks like right there. Come on, big guy. Come on. Okay, okay, you can wait your turn, pal. We've got some unfinished business up here. The old 24. There he is, come on, come on. All right, 200 meters. And he stopped behind a rock. Excellent, I'll wait, I'll wait. Unless I could land a headshot. No, 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 don't try it, don't try it. Yes, yes, you're beautiful, I know. I step out from behind that rock. Good lad. Oh, he stopped broadside. I missed. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, he's moving again. There we go, there we go. Yes! Oh, that's so satisfying! Holy smokes, that was a hunt! Oh, what a trophy! What a trophy! Look at you, you big, beautiful beast! Okay! Hello! Duh, thank you, comrade. <laughs> Man, this is nuts. Oh, I love it.
Okay, with our uh, gigantic AC plane carrying away our trophy, let's head on back after a successful hunt and check him out in the trophy room. This is so cool! Hey there, big guy! You were a lot of fun to hunt! And a pain in my side! Wow, okay, so the whole trophy room's inside? Oh, nope, looks like it's not! Ooh, this is so cool! What is- <gasps> Look at this! Look at this! Oh, oh, we got magazines! What do we got, what do we got? BBC Earth, excellent choice. And in the land of the bear. Oh, this is so cozy. All right, we got a moose over the fireplace. We got a, a bear statue and what looks like a already taxidermized deer. I don't think I saw you on the hunting roster. Oh, look at this. Now can we, we can. This is so nice. Oh, and the animated fire. Why did I not notice that earlier? Oh, this is so cozy. I could I could do about 10 hours of an ambient loop in here. Oh, this is so nice. What a trophy room. What a trophy room. Let's see, what, what do we have here? Animal data. Animal data. Let's see, how do we do? Altaiwa PT? Uh, crossbow, 194 meters, killed on January 1st. Oh, how exciting. And what I really like is I think, I think these are pretty accurately scaled to how they are in real life. Uh, the Carnivores games have a very strange issue with scaling, but this looks... I mean, I, I saw an elk that was twice this size out in the field, so I'm assuming this would be about the right size. Oh, this is so nice. What's out here? Ah, oh, sweet winter bliss. Oh, goodness. Hello. That's awesome. What's our sign here? Limpopo Diana Hunting Tours. Welcome. Oh, this is so cool. I wonder how far out here you can go and explore. I'm assuming quite a ways. Uh, we probably got some Easter eggs out here in these woods. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, well, we have successfully uh, showed off the initial tour of Siberian Expeditions. We took down a beautiful Altaiwapiti, also known as an elk. And we got to check out our super cozy trophy lodge. Let me get back in my seat. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. This is so nice. A shame that plant's in the way of our uh, first and only trophy for now. So we'll leave the camera right over here on this uh, wonderful view. Thank you guys so much for joining me as we've tackled Siberian Expeditions for the first time. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, first impressions format. I had a lot of fun doing this. I cannot wait to play this mod some more. As always, download links for it are in the description. And be sure to let me know what you are most excited about if you're going to play this mod. And if you're a hunting game fan, what's your favorite hunting game? I'm curious to see who grew up with what, uh, what people hold as the gold standard of hunting sims in their own mind, and get a discussion going down in the comments section. It's a side of carnivores I don't really tackle all that often, you know, it's mostly the dinosaurs, the mythology, and the art style, but I'm interested to hear about the hunting, so hunting fans out there, let me know what's up. Anyway guys, thank you again so much for watching, thank you for 10,000 subscribers, uh, that's incredible, I kinda just let that, you know, fly under the radar for a little bit, but man, that is awesome. You guys are truly, truly the best. I'll have more videos as the new year rolls on for uh, Siberian Expedition and other Carnivores mods. Um, be sure to stay tuned for those. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff that gets me noticed in the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys next time.